Uh, hi, friends. Uh, today we have uh, Shama Kurian, who is one of our Applied AI Code students. Uh, thank you, Shama, for taking the time. And your second name reminds me of Vargis Kurian, the milkman of India. So cool, cool to have you here. Yeah, thank you, sir, for having me as well. Cool. I'll just give a brief intro and then we'll go into some of the work you've done, your whole career progression and also uh, your interview experiences. Yes. Cool. So Shama uh, is joining uh, this very interesting startup in the intersection of mobility and electric bikes called Yulu. And she's joining them as a data science specialist uh, in a month or so. And prior to that, she worked as an intern for four months. Uh, as a data science intern, to be specific, at this company called Findability Sciences, where she worked on some reinforcement learning related problems. And prior to that, uh, uh, she completed her Bachelor of Science, BSc, in computer science from Christ University in Bangalore in 2020. So, Shama, you're a very unique student of ours. You're one of our three year degree students who have also successfully yeah. transitioned to a career in data science. So, very happy to have you. Yeah. I'm also happy to cool. be part of this. Kind cool. Of so uh, you've been our student for a while. You first joined as an intern. That's a typical path that we see folks coming from a three-year bachelor's degree in statistics, mathematics, physics, etc. So can you walk us on your interview experience uh, for the full-time role at Yulu? Can you explain us what were the rounds? What were they expecting out of you and things like that? Yes. Yeah, so there were actually five rounds. First was a HR round, a simple HR discussion on getting to know about my background and my current internship. I was then uh, scheduled for the first interview, which was in an uh, exploratory interview. So it was more about getting to know me again and few technical based questions. And also scenario based question was also asked. Uh, so how deep then, were these questions, either scenario-based or technical questions, and what topics were they more focusing on early in the rounds? Okay, uh, the technical questions were simple. It was simple using group by functions, and it could be solved using them. And the scenario-based question was into understanding how would you apply an ML algorithm to the given problem. So it was into clustering. And so uh, it wasn't very difficult, I guess. It, if you have the idea about how the algorithm works, that would be good enough to solve the questions. Cool, cool. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, so let's go into the next rounds and uh, the okay. details of that. Yeah, the second round was more into technical. So it was like the technical questions were a bit more tougher when compared to the first one. It was more into SQL and Python questions were asked. And also a business problems and what KPIs would be used to solve the business problem. And then simple questions on data science relating to p-value and confusion matrix. So this was mostly a programming plus some metrics plus some basic mathematical statistics. Yes. Got it. Got so it, it wasn't a very difficult, but comparing to the first interview, the technical questions were a bit at a higher level. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. In terms of the programming questions or the statistics questions or the real-time scenario-based questions or the KPIs, how hard were they compared to some of what you've learned in the course or some of the assignments that you've done in the course? Compared to the assignments, I would tell they were pretty easy to solve, ex except for the SQL questions, which I found it a bit at a higher level. Got it, got it. Okay, that's, that's, that's also helpful feedback for us because now we can create more SQL assignments at a harder level also, just for people yeah. to experience it more. That's the point. Yes. Cool. cool, yes. And going to the third interview, it was divided into three parts. So first was data science, second was coding, and the third was tech, uh, analytical thinking. So the data science part was more into my case studies, which I've done at Applied AI itself, and how those algorithms would work. And then uh, coming to the coding part, it was again Python-based simple questions. And, and then the analytical thinking. So they had given a scenario question and asked like, how would you go about solving it? Okay, so uh, in this interview, first you said uh, it was about your case study and the, and the techniques that you've used. Have they yes. gone more into the mathematical aspects or only from an applied viewpoint? Um, I not too much into the mathematical depths, but it was somewhere in between, like overview and a bit, but not too much in detail. 
Cool, cool. So uh, the third part that you mentioned, you said uh, there was also analytical part in that interview, right? What yes. was this analytical? Is it just basic mathematics and statistics or something more data science heavy? No, it was just logical based questions, okay. not really into any of data science or that aspect was more into how you would go about thinking and solving the problem. Got it, got it, oh, got it. Cool, cool. So what about the next round? Uh, next round was again just a HR discussion to about all the formalities and all. So cool. that cool. was again. the entire process which I had to run. Again, this is a very typical format that we see a lot of startups do, right? Yulu is also a very fast growing startup with some interesting solutions that they're building. So startups yes, yes. Are, are typically doing this sort of interviews for entry-level data science roles. What about your uh, your internship? What sort of interviews did you face? Because that was your first uh, actual yes. data science role, right? So what sort yes. of interviews did you face when you were going for the internship interviews at uh, Findability Sciences? Uh, so I, for that, I would say like there is an applied AI community on WhatsApp where we all discuss about not only about the course content and help each other, but we also help each other with uh, in terms of job placements. Yes. So through that, like one of my good friends had helped me with it. So there was one round of interview. Since it was more into for an internship pro, it was more into statistics and a bit of data science. And it, and then I had a second interview, which was with the vice president. And okay, so was, not too heavy because it was an internship. Not, yes. Okay. And was your internship instrumental in getting the work at Yulu, right? To convert the full-time role at Yulu? Uh, yes, I would definitely, definitely say that it really helped me to get the full-time cool. role cool. at Yulu. Yes. So also, I want to understand about your learning strategy, right? Because uh, yeah, you come from a three-year bachelor's degree in computer science. So you know the computer science foundations for sure, right? You, you would ob obviously know some programming. So uh, what was your strategy in learning all of the concepts, understanding the, um, understanding the internal mathematics, most importantly, solving the assignments, and equally importantly, self-case studies and things like that? Can you walk us through your learning journey? Yeah, so I, I did do a bachelor's. It was a triple major, I would say, in computer science, mathematics, and statistics. Ah, so that was advantageous for you. Cool, cool. Yeah, so that was really advantageous to me because I did face difficulties through the learning process, but I would say majority, majority, uh, it was quite simple for me with respect to compute uh, coding, mathematics, and the statistics. Oh, because so your bachelor's did, degree was a triple major where you also learned some stats and math. Yes. So that's 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 it, a very nice combination, especially for people trying to get into data science, right? Because yes, if you do a so, proper bachelor's in stats or math, you would not know as much computing. If you do only computing, you don't know math and stat. But if there is a combination of sorts, like the one that you have done, that's super helpful. Yes. So... It was, I wouldn't say very difficult, but I did have a few difficulties on the way, but it is doable. Cool, cool. Very, very nice. Very nice. So what suggestions would you give to folks very similar to you who come from a BSc in computer science or BSc in math or stats? Because we have a few students, What's or even gen, in general, students who are outside of applied AI course. If somebody is currently pursuing their bachelor's degree, probably in the final year, third year, right? What suggestions would you give to them in terms of what they can plan or how they can plan their career in data science? So I guess one is knowing your basics well, like whatever you learn in your undergraduate would be really helpful. So knowing that, I guess, should be like the first thing they need to do. And then I guess uh, it's just about hard work. And yes, yeah, so it's just about like hard work and consistency. And you should have the drive to learn what you're interested in. And so in the case of data science, you should be very interested in it and that would really be helpful. Cool, cool. So anything else that you wanted to add, which I probably have missed or uh, not thought through myself, especially from your own experiences and journey? Uh, what I feel is it was quite difficult for me, the journey, but with consistency, you will be able to make it one day. That, that's very true because uh, we often discuss what sort of students are succeeding, right? 
it doesn't yeah. matter what degree you have it doesn't matter what major you have it even yeah. doesn't matter uh, whether you come from a mechanical engineering or a stats background whether you even come from a top university right what yeah. actually we yeah. observe is people who are consistent who are like clocking in 15 hours of effort consistently day in day out over a week's time 15 hours a week those people actually succeed i think that consistency and effort is the most important factor not how smart you are or what you studied beforehand at least in our observation and data yes that's true that's what i also believe cool cool shama uh, thank you very much for sharing your experiences i'm sure this will help lot of undergraduate students who are pursuing a bsc in stats math physics or computing uh, to actually plan for their careers in data science thank you very much thank you so much